Hi, thanks for coming. I'm, I'm Bart Zorgedrager and I live in Amsterdam. And I'm for 30 years uh, a photographer. I studied in Amsterdam in the art school. And industry has been a, a subject for a long time already. And uh, the title of my lecture is uh, Holland, the country of factories without chimneys. But I suppose you could call it also Britain or Germany or Western world. We, we're all becoming countries of factories without chimneys. And this picture illustrates what a chimney is being used for nowadays. I mean, it's not for, for, for the smoke anymore, but it's for electronic devices to put them on. A long time ago, I, I found an article in the newspaper, and it's, it's saying that uh, the, in, in a small village in the eastern part of Holland, the town council was very un upset with the traditional uh, traffic sign indicating an industrial area. And it looked like that. And they thought it, it, it referred to East Germany and it wasn't appropriate anymore because we were a mo modern country and it should look differently. So people making traffic signs uh, came up with the idea, we're gonna make a new one for you. So they came up with this one. <laughs> But still people saw it. Oh, it, it doesn't fit the idea of uh, what they had of modern industry. So after a while they came with a new one and that's this one. And this is basically the story I'm telling. It's from the smoke to the, the business park. And what I basically do is I I love newspapers and I read them with a scissor. And when I come to, a, to a, 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 a news clipping saying that Unilever is closing a factory, then I, I'm very interested. And what I do is, and I have to say they're closing them because they are, they are outsourcing them. The, the production is going to, to China. So what I do is I contact them and I said, wouldn't it be a nice idea to make a book and to hand it out to all the employees on the last day of their work as a, as a, a way of, of saying thank you. I mean, we still make profit, we make a lot of profit, but we're gonna make more profit in China. It's a hard story. I mean, and modern managers aren't all like Uncle Scrooge anymore. And they are feeling it's for them a task what they don't like either. So when I come in with the idea to make a book, they, kind, they might think, yes, a book might be a good way to, 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 to pay gratitude to, to, the, to the employees. So with Unilever, there were three uh, factories closing down at the same time, in the same year. And they agreed me making uh, a book for them. And that are the three books uh, for Unilever. And this is the book in, in, in Vlaardingen and it's not far from Rotterdam. And they make, you might all have it in your kitchen. And what I, I, I basically do, and that's, that's a nice thing, is that I can document the, f the factory because it's going to close and it's gone. This is all shot on four or five inch. This is the, 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 the Unilever factory in uh, Loosdrecht, where they make food. 
you might have got it in, in, in this country and so on. And I photographed all the, the products they're making in the, in the, in the factory. And it's, it's, people are very, very happy uh, with the fact that they get a book. And actually, it, it, the books aren't that expensive. If, 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 you, if you think what it costs to close down a factory, the amount of money what is involved is so much that a book is a relatively small amount of money. So I become part of the whole social negotiations become between the unions and between the, 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 the company itself. And what is also, what I think is important is to, to photograph all the colleagues. So I think you could, you could see photographs as, as, as tent poles of your memory. And uh, what I would like to provide is the, 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 the employees, the, the tent poles that they can afterwards put up the tent with their own memories. And I, I photograph all the, all the colleagues and put the names with them and the, the section where they're working in the, in the factory. This is the first one, uh, the first book what Martin and Gary Hapley uh, named in, in volume two. It's about the nuclear power plant in, uh, in Holland. We've got two and this was the first one. And it also closed uh, because of uh, political reasons. Of course, the, the, it's, it's very protected and, 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 and very uh, high security. I think this is a very nice picture of, 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 of Holland. I mean, where would you find a nuclear power point, uh, plant with a, a, a bicycle pump. Uh, and we used abbreviations of, of the, the, the dictionary of uh, nuclear energy to, to give it a context. Of course, I got a, a pass to, for, for This was in uh, 96. It's of course on, a, on the river, they need the water for the cooling system. And the nuclear power plant, you, you as associate it with very high tech, but basically it isn't. It, it, it looks like a ship actually, because it's very traditional te techniques, what, what are uh, proven their, 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 their value. And again, all the employees I photograph, not portraits, but in groups. And this was the, the, the megawatts they were producing in when they started. And this is the end. I also added uh, a list of hours because everything is measured in, in, in nuclear power plant. And I added a, a list of how many hours I was in, 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 the, in, the, in the plant. And I was 199 hours and 25 minutes, I suppose. I can't read it. In, in the... In the, in the plant. When I'm, I'm, I'm working on, on, on these kinds of projects, I, 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 I love to be inspired by books from 
the history and I like to pay tribute to, to the masters of the, the genre. And I'm a, a collector of, of, of books and I, I also collect uh, company photo books. And working on, on, on this, this book, I was inspired by a book about uh, the mines in the south. It's, it's from 53. It's one of the best uh, Dutch uh, company photo books. It's made by a, a man who was a doctor, but he, he decided to become a photographer and he became a very good photographer. And he did the design himself. And it was also a huge success. More than 5,000 copies were printed in the 50s. This was my most recent uh, book I made. I, I made it last year. And um, this was uh, a joint venture uh, of Mitsubishi and Caterpillar, for two forklift uh, uh, companies. They, they had one factory. And again, uh, we're going to... to, to uh, to China and, and Finland, I should say, as well. And this is basically what, what it is about. Uh, the, the, the general manager is explaining to, to the employees, uh, sorry for, uh, for uh, the fact that we are leaving, but that's how, it, how it's being decided. And, uh, of course, not the manager itself is deciding. It's somewhere up in the world decided that we're going to close this factory and that factory. And it's an abstract uh, thing where a local, the local uh, unions have, have no influence on. And And it's a brand new factory, and it, it, it only had a couple of more than 20 years it, it, it existed, and it's gone. This is the pattern the, the, the machine is cutting the, the metal plates, uh, the, the computer. What I used uh, is a, a thumb index. Uh, you, you see it in, 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 in traditional books, in, in, in reference books. It's handy to, 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 find, out the to find the chapters. Uh, and I thought that was a good idea to use it for, for, this, uh, for this book. And this is a, a bit how it, how it goes. Uh, they start with metal and they end up with a, a complete forklift. <coughs> and again, all the employees are, 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 are being depicted in the, in the book and this time I I didn't photograph them themselves, but I could use the, 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 the pictures from their passes and, and uh, I made them black and white and I, p I put all the names on it uh, on, a, on a paper. And when I was, w was working, I, again, I, 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 I like to be inspired by historical books and I was working on, on, on trying to get this book uh, republished. It's, it's, it's one of the most beautiful uh, Dutch company books. It's, it, it's done by uh, Piet Swart, the famous uh, graphic designer. And 
I wasn't successful yet in, in, in getting a publisher. But you, you see also the SUMP index uh, he was using. It's a cable factory uh, in Delft. I also uh, f came across this English book. It's, it's from Eccles and uh, Pollock, a tube factory. Not far from Birmingham, Birmingham I, I suppose. And that is the nice thing of collecting books. It, 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 it gets you, it, it is very nice to do, and it also gets you inspired of working on and getting new ideas. Uh, and perhaps the most famous uh, thump index book is uh, from Mayakovsky and uh, Elisinski from the 1923, with poems from uh, Mayakovsky. I found a, another clipping in, in, the, in the newspaper saying the most popular side job of the youth in Holland from 15 to 25 years. And as you can see uh, in the shop, 170,000 are working in there, cleaning, medical. And, but when you look for, for the, the chimney, you don't see it anymore. And it's changing so fast, because when I w was young and I would need money for holidays, I would go work in a factory. And the youth nowadays, they don't even know what a factory is anymore. So, This book I made on, the, on a cigar factory. It was owned by a Swiss company and they went to Eastern Germany. And the nice thing about um, uh, my, 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 my task is that basically the companies aren't, uh, they're not interested in their image anymore because they're going to close down anyway. So basically they give me the key and they say, you can do what you want. And if you, you're going to work with, with a company what is still in full swing, forget it, they, they know exactly what you can photograph and what you're not allowed to photograph and they've got all kinds of ideas. But they give me the freedom to make the book I want. They, I, can, I produce it itself. I, I, I'm not doing the, the, the graphic design myself, but I hire a, a graphic designer and uh, to show the freedom I got is that the, the owner of the, the cigar factory didn't mind me photographing the employees smoking. What was forbidden, of course, to, to smoke in a factory, but who would forbid anybody to smoke in a cigar factory? <laughs> so he, he actually was a bit disappointed that the, <laughs> the people were smoking cigarettes. And no cigars. <laughs> and this is the last page of the, of the book. I've, I've made eight of these books uh, up to now, and it, it, it looks like that it's not an, uh, going to be ending soon. So I hope to make more. Thank you.